you already know what is a shadow a shadow is formed whenever light is blocked say we have blocked the light here by keeping our hands and a shadow of our hands is cast on the screen so whenever light is blocked shadow is casted on the screen now here you can see we have taken a ball as the opaque object that will help us cast a shadow and this torch is acting as a light source for us now we have taken a screen also now as we have lighted the torch the rays are coming out of it the light rays and as the opaque object is blocking its way it is creating a shadow over here but can you notice something there are two parts of a shadow over here now along with the shadow of this ball this dark region there is some light region also around the shadow well they these are the two parts of a shadow let's see what they are, they are called well the two parts of shadow are this is the umbra and this is the penumbra now what is this umbra and penumbra well you can see this very dark patch which is not allowing any light to come over here this is called as umbra region of the shadow and the outer region this part which is slightly faint and allowing some light to come to it it is called penumbra region so you can say that the central and darkest part of the shadow that is this part is called as umbra whereas the region of partial darkness partial darkness means that the shadow is a bit faint here which surrounds the umbra now the penumbra will always surround the umbra notice this so now you know there are two regions of a shadow umbra that is the darkest part of the shadow and penumbra which is comparatively faint now this is not necessary that every time a shadow will form these two regions it may happen that you can see only the umbra or the umbra and penumbra both but the umbra is necessary in every case the penumbra may or may not be present in the shadow now this depends on the source of light let's see an experiment well for that experiment you need a torch and you need to cover this torch with say a paper and after covering the torch with a paper create a pin size hole in that paper so that when the light comes out it will come out from this point hole only so we can say that the source of the light here is a point source because the light will come out as a point so now you know how to create a point source with this torch now let's see an experiment see we have taken a ball and in a dark room we are lighting this torch now we know that we have created a point source of light from this torch so you can see a point source of light is coming out from this torch now we are keeping this ball in the place of this light in the path of the light blocking its way you can see a shadow is formed see the shadow is formed on the screen we have taken now whenever there is the source of light is a point source of light the characteristics of the shadow formed are different what are the characteristics of the shadow that is formed when there is a point source of light as acting as a source of light let's see well you can see that only umbra region is formed just now we have studied that a shadow has two regions the dark part that is the central and the dark part is called umbra and the part surrounding the umbra that is a little bit faint shadow that is called penumbra here what kind of shadow can you see well you can see only the dark part that is the umbra part no penumbra is formed whenever there is a point source of light now the next thing you can see that the shadow form has the same shape as that of the object what does this mean now we had taken a ball and the ball is in a circular shape so the shadow formed will also be in a circular shape the shape will be same remember i am not talking about the size of the ball i am talking about the shape of the ball here you can see the ball is circular shape and so is its shadow so whenever there will be a point source of light and we are using that to cast a shadow the shape of the object and the shape of its shadow will be the same now you can see one more thing that the shadow is always bigger in size than the object 
just now i told you that the shape will remain the same now what about the size well you can see however far we move or however close we move the light towards the ball or away from the ball the shadow is always bigger can you notice this see it is getting bigger and bigger it is still bigger it is not becoming smaller than the ball so whenever there is a point source of light the shadow form will always be bigger as that of the object now one more thing the size of the shadow decreases if the distance between the point source and the object increases so what does that mean we have to increase the distance between the point source and the object see what we are doing we are moving away the torch from the ball we are increasing this distance what is happening the size of the shadow decreases see isn't the size of the shadow decreasing you can see that now i am not saying that the shadow will become smaller than the object it will always remain bigger but the size of the shadow decreases if we move the point source away from the object now let's see another thing the size of the shadow increases when does the size of the shadow increase can you tell me see we are moving the torch towards the ball that is we are decreasing this distance between the point source and the ball and if we are doing that we can see that the size of the shadow is increasing so what do you do bring the torch closer to the ball decrease the distance decrease the distance between the point source and the object so here i am decreasing the distance between the torch and the ball and so the shadow is getting bigger one more thing the size of the shadow increases if the distance of the screen from the object increases now what is this see every time what we were doing we were moving the torch away from the ball or we were bringing it closer now keeping the torch in the same place keeping the ball in the same place we can move the screen also what we are doing see we are increasing the distance between the ball and the screen we are moving the screen backwards so this distance is increasing and if this in distance is increasing we can see that shadow formed is also getting bigger and bigger so you can say that the size of the shadow increases when does it increase if the distance of the screen from the object increases so the distance between the object and the screen increases and the shadow gets bigger now what if i move the screen closer now this may also be the case if i can take the screen backwards i can also bring it forward now keeping the torch and the ball in the same place i am bringing the screen closer so what i am i doing i am decreasing the distance between the ball and the screen you can see the distance is decreasing now notice the shadow isn't it getting smaller so this is the characteristic of a point source light when as the size of the shadow decreases here you can see the size of the shadow is decreasing when if the distance of the screen from the object decreases now the distance between the screen and the object is decreasing so the shadow is getting smaller what happens when i take it backwards the distance increases shadow gets bigger the distance decreases shadow gets smaller so what what characteristics did we study about when the shadow is formed from a point source of light first of all recall what was this point of source of light in our case we had covered the torch with a paper and created a point hole from which the light was coming out so this was point source of light now whenever we cast a shadow or make a shadow when we have this point source of light there are some particular characteristics first of all only umbra region is formed now what was this umbra region the dark and the central part of the shadow that is very dark and no light reaches to this region and what was this other one the other one was penumbra yes the penumbra region is the 
region that surrounds this amra region that is comparatively faint and allows some light to reach to it but in this case when we are using point source of light no penumbra region is formed only the dark in the central part that is the umbra region that is formed the second the shadow formed has the same shape as that of the object just in our case you saw that the ball was circular and all the shadows it was casting whether the distance was same or the distance was getting bigger or smaller the shape of this ball was remain circular only now the shadow is always bigger in size than the object you saw that that the shape remained circular but the shadow was always bigger in size as that of the ball whenever we move the distance or even if we decrease the distance increase the distance the shadow remained bigger it never got smaller than the ball now the size of the shadow decreases if the distance between the point source and the object increases and vice versa so what you have to remember that if we increase the distance between the point source and the object the shadow will decrease the size of the shadow will decrease and if you do the opposite that is you decrease the distance between the point source and the object the shadow size will increase so now you know that the size of the shadow decreases if the distance between the point source and the object increases or the shadow will increase if the distance between the point source and object decreases and the opposite happens when the size of the shadow increases if the distance of the screen from the object increases you can see this is happening parallelly if if we are increasing the distance between the screen and the object then the shadow will also increase that is the size of the shadow will increase and if you decrease the distance of the screen with the ball then the size of the shadow will also decrease so the size of the shadow increases if the distance of the screen from the object increases and vice versa that is if you decrease then the shadow size will also decrease